the video shows the process of making hammer in the first operation the eye of the hammer is forged the initial billet is shown by red color and there are four curved dies around the center of the billet in the second operation head face section of hammer is forged there are two dies with inbuilt cavity which are used for the forging shown in the gray in the final operation pin section of the hammer is forged using two different set of dies shown in gray with inbuilt cavity the equivalent is strain generated during each forging operation can be determined by a scale on the extreme left the final product assembly is shown at the end of video showing each part distinctively The video shows the process of making hammer. In the first operation, the eye of the hammer is forged. The initial billet is shown by red color and there are four curved dies around the center of the billet. In the second operation, head face section of hammer is forged. There are two dies with inbuilt cavity which are used for the forging shown in the gray. In the final operation, pin section of the hammer is forged using two different set of dies shown in gray with inbuilt cavity the equivalent is strain generated during each forging operation can be determined by a scale on the extreme left the final product assembly is shown at the end of video showing each part distinctively The video shows the process of making hammer. In the first operation, the eye of the hammer is forged. The initial billet is shown by red color and there are four curved dies around the center of the billet. In the second operation, head face section of hammer is forged. There are two dies with inbuilt cavity which are used for the forging shown in the gray. In the final operation, pin section of the hammer is forged using two different set of dies shown in gray with inbuilt cavity the equivalent is strain generated during each forging operation can be determined by a scale on the extreme left the final product assembly is shown at the end of video showing each part distinctively